Welcome back to Beginner's Guide, a pathway to help people discover bands and genres they want to get into. For this episode, we'll be going through the discography of American hardcore punk band Turnstile. The band formed in 2010 and during the course of their history have released five EPs and three full-length albums, now becoming frontrunners and headliners for the genre of hardcore music. They've been gaining notoriety, but you may not know which songs to get you started and into Turnstile. So here's five big tunes for our Turnstile Beginner's Guide. Track one, Mystery. The lead single from Turnstile's 2021 third album, Glow On, Mystery was a song that was able to help catapult the band as innovators of hardcore and heavy music, becoming the first single by them to make the US charts. After roughly three years of no new music, Turnstile had made a defiant return. The band put out a press release alongside Mystery being unveiled as a single, saying that the song sees Turnstile searching for beauty and finding peace in the unknown as they reject the notion of normal. For Turnstile, there is no normal, only their truth and the endless possibility of magic when you remain open to the truth of others, singing praise to the infinite mysteries of the universe. Musically, mystery begins with the sound of a futuristic synth fluttering through notes, giving a dazed feeling before the power chords of a single guitar enter, giving you a hint of what's to come. Just when you reach time adjusting to this sound, the whole band kicks in with pounding drums and a simple riff that is bound to get your head bubbing. Brendan's vocals enter with a great melodic shout to them with catchy lyrics, something that is a staple from Turnstile. Again, as soon as you are adjusted to the sound of what you're hearing, all instruments apart from the bass, ride cymbal and vocals drop out for a brief moment before a burst of sound bringing in the full force of Turnstile back to your ears. Mystery continues with a great flow through the song, with melodic guitar changes and tom drum work before a tasteful solo carries the song towards the end section. The synth from the beginning returns at the end of the track, creating a perfect circle of musicality within this song. Track 2, Phased Out. <laughs> Turnstar released their debut album called Nonstop Feeling at the start of 2015, announcing themselves as part of the hardcore scene. Track number 3 on the album, Phased Out, lasts for less than three minutes, but easily has a catchiness and repeatability that makes it stand out amongst their discography. Phased Out is only made up of two verses, with a simplistic approach creating a great hook that will thrive on repeat listening. For the small amount of time we hear vocals, they appear self-reflective, saying, shut out like I've been before, and because I've used your moves on people in my past, giving the narration of a reoccurring situation, something that can be perceived in a few different ways. From the start of the track, Phased Out has riffage and grooves that feel very Rage Against the Machine-esque and persuasiveness to get your head bobbing along, before bursting into double time with the entry of Brendan's vocals. Some elements of the instrumentals give some thrash metal vibes, hearing riffing and drum accents similar to bands like Metallica. The end section with the whole instrumental slowed down is bound to get listeners ready to mosh and throw down if they get the chance to hear this live. Phased Out is another great example of showing how Turnstile are able to bring in elements of other genres into hardcore and show how well they're able to experiment and create high-level music. Track 3 Underwater Boy. Track number four from 2021's Glow On 
Underwater Boy sees Turnstile collaborate with indie rock singer Julian Baker and provide another glimpse into how they're able to experiment and expand their sound beyond what anyone would have initially thought. Lyrically, Underwater Boy is much less aggressive and punchy, instead coming across much more pensive and deep, with lines such as, When I get to heaven will I know, and Ride alone beside me, here but gone tomorrow. Underwater Boy additionally stands out with this music video, different to many others by the band. Directed and edited by the band's drummer Daniel Fang, the visuals have been captured from 2003 MMORPG Second Life. The animated video is all set in a realistic virtual world. From the start, instead of the usual distorted guitars, clean and slow strums create a different ambience from the familiar turnstile musicality, before the rest of the band burst in on the back of a brief build, with a 16th note drum groove leading the charge. The guitar melodies in the track help carry the song through all of its progressions. Vocalist Brendan Yates has a much calm and melodic performance compared to his usual shouts and powerful deliveries. Julian Baker's edition fits the vibe of Underwater Boy and perfectly complements Brendan's vocals. The song has brief moments of turnstile showing the edgier and heavier music, with some distorted riffs and basic rock drum beats, providing itself to be something that could cater towards introducing more people into the band through the experimentation featured in this track. Track number four, Real Thing. The first single and album opener from 2018 sophomore outing, Time and Space, Real Thing was the first song heard from Turnstile after signing with major label Roadrunner Records and was able to display the boundary-pushing music this band has been known for. Turnstile frontman Brendan Yates spoke of the meaning behind the song, saying, Real Thing is about the idea of happiness being made up in the imagination. The way you imagine perfection from your past can blind you to real beauty and life right in front of you, resulting in a circle of discontent. This is displayed in the lyrics, No eyes can see it, part dream, part memory. The chorus mostly consists of the single line, Can I keep it all together waiting for the real thing? which is a relatable line in so many different ways, giving listeners something to find so many different kinds of meaning in for themselves, beyond just the original intentions behind the lyric. Real Thing shows from the start that musical writing with minor changes as a song progresses can be extremely effective. The main guitar riff is heard in the intro and verse, with only the drum performance making the change to double time as a reference point musically to show the new section being introduced. The chorus has slight changes to the riff, with it being a similar pattern showing the continuation. Small musical breaks in the song help break up the sections, with a nice snare roll including various accents placed within it helping build to a big final chorus. The A and B sections of lyrics matches the simplicity and effectiveness of the song, allowing for real thing to show that simplicity with attention to detail can prove to be a great way to write a piece of music. Track 5, Holiday. The final single release from the third album, Glow On, Holiday perfectly displays Turnstile's ability to create a song that will make the mosh pits go crazy, but also easily entice anyone else standing around to be headbanging along with their distinct sound. Holiday is a song that has contributed to the band getting a Grammy nomination for Best Rock Song as part of the 2022 awards, and so is fully deserving of a spot on this list. Holiday, much like many of Turnstile's songs, does not have extravagant lyrics with complex meanings behind them like many bands, but instead have simpler repetitive lines that are much more on the nose. Holiday has the feeling of enjoyment and independence, with the first verse starting off with Make a little room, I want to free up from the vine, I want to celebrate. And the bridge section driving home with a line, and I can stay with no direction. Through these lines, Holiday can become a song that appeals through its identifiable lyrics to a large demographic of people, particularly a younger generation, 
showing how they've been able to gain such a popularity in their career, especially in more recent years. Holiday initially draws you into the track with a chill bass line and electronics before bursting to life with two simple snare hits with guitars and a shout from frontman Brendan Yates declaring, now it's a holiday. The song continues with some solid and catchy riffs that will have you grooving along, all while Brendan continues with repetitive lyric lines which are compulsive and encouraging listeners to join along with him. The tone of the intro makes a return, but this time with a build towards a slamming heaviness and breakdown bound to get the moshers moving instantly when hearing it. So that was Turnstile's Beginner's Guide. If you're a fan of Turnstile, what songs would you suggest that weren't on this list that would help people get into their music? Who would you like to see a Beginner's Guide on next to introduce you to a band and their music? Comment down below, like the video, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest releases and heavy music that we review on our monthly podcast, as well as gig vlogs and various other content surrounding the genres of metal and alternative music.